I hate to be the bearer of bad news, everyone, but we've had a terrible update in the case of Jeremy Lafredo. Um, Jeremy is a 28-year-old US citizen and independent journalist who two days ago was arrested by Israeli military um, officers uh, while crossing a checkpoint in the illegally occupied West Bank. Um, he has been held in an Israeli dungeon um, ever since. At a hearing earlier today, he has been formally charged with aiding the enemy during wartime and providing information to the enemy. You know, this is despite, you know, as his as his attorney made clear clear at the hearing, a spy would never have acted so publicly and transparently. Jeremy has done nothing wrong. These are allegations which um, can result in life imprisonment or the death penalty. This is like really, really serious and grave. Earlier this year, a member of Netanyahu's ruling Likud party made similar allegations against the Jewish director of a local Israeli NGO called Bat Shalom, which documents human rights abuses by the Israeli government towards the Palestinians. This is an independent journalist facing the rest of his life in a, a, in a vile Israeli dungeon where you know, Palestinian prisoners are routinely tortured and subject, subject to violence and rape by their captors, often for crimes crimes like throwing a stone at an occupation tank, tearing through their village. And I might add that um, the story of, of uh, the charges against Jeremy was broken by this website called Ynet, um, and it, it uh, noted that uh, J Jeremy's arrest had like, raised concerns of a potential international incident between Israel and the US because Jeremy is a US citizen. Well, let's make that international incident happen. Uh, there's no time to waste. Jeremy uh, is incarcerated. We we are not. So act accordingly. Um, you know, bombard your elected representatives with emails. Um, like you know, bombard the State Department with phone calls. Uh, contact the local U.S. embassy in Israel. Um, try and get the mainstream media to cover this because uh, it, we need to get word out and we need to get Jeremy out as soon as possible.